I was not going to make a video about the debates. We all know what happened. What's the video for? But apparently people have been missing a crucial point in the debates. The debates was not a policy debate. This debate was a cognitive debate. We all know what Donald Trump thinks, does, and acts. He's been president of the United States for four years, went through three, not two, three political campaigns. He's at the starting to get to the end of the third political campaign. We know everything about him. We know how he acts. We know good Trump. We know bad Trump. We know his policies. We know his good policies. We know his bad policies. We know what he lies about. We know everything. We know how foreign leaders react to him. We know how terrorists act to him. We know how America reacts to him. We learned nothing today. The one thing we learned about Trump was that there's a there's a real pop there's a real leader inside Trump. A, uh, I don't know the right word, but like a calm and thoughtful person that we haven't really seen before. Obviously, they've appeared for months training Trump to be this way, specifically because they knew this would happen. And we know who Biden is. We know his policies. Biden's policies, we live them every single day. So obviously, it wasn't the referendum of Biden's policies because, well, you could just walk outside and see it. We know what Biden lies about. We know everything because he's been president for over three years and he has also gone through two political campaigns and he ran as vice president with Barack Obama. So we know everything about him. So what was this about? For the past few months, both Republicans and Democrats have been really, really yelling about how the other side has cognitively declined for months, both sides, Republicans and Democrats. This debate was one thing and one thing only. Will the candidates survive another four years? And the answer is no one in America, in the world, believes that Joe Biden will live four more years in any shape or form. Maybe he'll physically be alive, but he'll be so cogn cognitively in the clock that he just won't be functional anymore. Donald Trump, on the other hand, while he wasn't as good as he was in 2020 or 2016, he is still remarkably better than Joe Biden was. Just its remarked difference was night and day. Now you might hate Joe, you might hate Donald Trump. You might hate Donald Trump's policies. You might hate him as a person. You might have what they call Trump derangement syndrome. But you have to still agree that Donald Trump is more cognitively there than Joe Biden is. And that what that's what the debate was all about. The reason why we don't need a second debate is usually, you know, the po the politicians have a debate and then the people speak about it for a few months. And based on what the people are speaking about, the second debate kind of changes a little bit based on the feedback that they get from the people. But that's only if it's a policy debate. But this is a cognitive debate, which means that there's no more discussion needed. America has decided Joe Biden is in decline, cognitively not here, and so it's over. Whether you like, hate Trump, whether you like Biden or hate Biden, it's over. He has to be replaced. There's no other choice. Everyone, everyone knows this. There's no other choice but to replace Biden. Even if you love Biden, you can love something. I, I, my grandmother, I love her. She's, I had to help her. I had to carry her up the steps. I had to carry her down the steps. I had to carry her from, help her walk from the, from the couch to the table. I had to help her do everything. I had to help her get into bed. I had to help her get out of bed. She's 89. At a certain age, you start to decline. And then Joe Biden has proven that he has hit that stage and it's over. There's no other, there's no two ways to put this. Donald Trump, if he goes against Joe Biden, he wins. Everyone knows this now. The Democrats have to make a choice. Will they kick out Joe Biden and win and possibly win? No, it's still a toss up. It depends on who they put in for this place. I still think that should be Blinken. I think Blinken is Secretary of State, but no one listens to me. If they keep Joe Biden, 
Donald Trump wins by a landslide. Everyone knows this now. All the swing voters will vote for Trump. This is, Ben Shapiro was right. This was a super important debate. Not a policy debate, a cognitive debate. See you next video.